Rosé. Used to be the poor relation of the wine world, the sort of bottle you'd take to a party if you weren't that keen on the host. That, however, is changing. The sales of the Pink Plonk are on the rise, with a new generation of unprejudiced drinkers choosing it over reds and whites. Colette Macbeth went to toast its success. There was once a time when you had two choices if you wanted to buy rosé, sickly or sweet. But wine's poor relation has grown up, got all serious, and new drinkers are sitting up and taking notice. Although sales of wine in general have roughly stayed the same, we are buying a whole lot more rosé. For every trolley like this one we bought in 2005, we're now buying this much extra. In general, people have seen rosé as a much more serious drink now. Um, producers are actually putting a lot more effort behind it and realising that it's a great food wine as well as a wine on its own right. Um, and so we're seeing sales go through the roof. We're seeing a huge selection from across the world. Lovely different styles from very dry, light, elegant styles from France through to sort of fairly big, rich, powerful, barbecue friendly wines from Australia. Well, it would be wrong not to see what all the fuss is about. And who better to taste with than Frédéric Monneret, sommelier at this double Michelin star restaurant? What would you recommend that I eat with that? Nice fish, jandery, something with a lot of you know, fennel, mm. black olives. It smells very fruity. Do you have a taste? Yes, please. I could definitely drink a lot of that. Sales have gone up by almost 30%, but red and white wines are still by far our favourites. So can we convince some rather reluctant rosé drinkers to give it a try? I don't really have that much experience with rosé. I just always thought of it as being a bit of a nasty drink. It's the liberal of wines, I suppose. It's uh, sort of sitting on the fence. It's neither one nor the other. Right, guys, can I ask you to hand over your red and white wine? So what's the verdict on the rosé? It's much lighter than red wine, and so it's quite nice for the summertime. I don't mind it actually, but it's better than I uh, perceived beforehand. But uh, probably wouldn't choose it over red wine. But with another hot summer on its way, it's likely that more of us will be ordering rosé rather than red at the bar. Colette Macbeth, BBC News. Cheers. Finland's preparing itself for the weird and wonderful, the kitchen colourful as the Eurovision Song Contest comes to Helsinki tonight. Smart money's on Serbia, Ukraine or Belarus to clinch the title. Surely, you Surely. Surely. Scooch must stand a chance as well.